Example 3 on page 409. Solve an equation with no solution. So this is the other situation that might be new to you. And this is an example of a, of a word problem where you could get something um, where there is no solution. So it says Gil makes three bracelets and Mika makes two bracelets. They both use the same number of string colors. How many colors should they use to make the same amount of money? And you can see that Gil sells his bracelets for $5 per bracelet and $2 for each string color, whereas Mika sells hers for $5 per bracelet and $3 for each string color. Notice in the question, how many colors should they use to make the same amount of money? This is how we know our variable X is going to be represented by the colors because it's in the question. They want to know how many colors. So writing an equation to represent this, the solution, we're going to let X represent the number of string colors. So you can see that um, Gil made three. So here's that three. And he charges $2 for each string color. So two times the variable X and then he gets $5 for every bracelet. Whereas Mika um, made two bracelets, so there's the two, but she charges $3 for each string color. So there's the variable X, $3 for the string color, and then $3 for every bracelet. So when you use the distributive property, you get 6x plus 15 equals 6x plus 6. And then subtracting out the 6x from each side, that's what they did here. They did it horizontally, not vertically. You are left with 15 does not equal 6. Okay, that right here, this means, hey, uh, there is no situation where they're going to make the same amount of money because 15 does not equal six. Now, I want you to notice here at this step, this step right here, we have the same coefficient on our variable, six and six but we do not have the same constant. We have 15 and 6. So just looking very quickly at this step, in my mind, I can subtract 6x and 6x from each side, and I'm left with 15 equals 6. But we know that's not a true statement, so it does not equal. So when you have the same coefficient in front of your x values, that means one of two things. That means you could have an equation with no solution, or you could have an equation with many solutions. Because remember over here, we had 3x and we had 3x. Same coefficient in front of our variable. Notice that our constant is also the same. So when your coefficients are exactly the same in the simplest form that you can get your expression and the constants are exactly the same, then your number of solutions is an infinite number of solutions. But over here, when your coefficients are the same, but your constants are different, that means there is no solution. So let's just look at this one down here quickly. We can see that this side is simplified as far as it can go. Over here, we have a constant of three. 
and our x values are going to be uh, 3 and 9 tenths x plus 1 tenth is going to be 4 x's plus 3. So I have 4 x's plus 8. Notice that my constants are exactly the same, my 4's, but that means I'm going to be left with 8 equals 3. And that is not a true statement. 8 does not equal 3. So the solution does has no, how many solutions? None. Now, over on page 410, at the top, determine the number of solutions by inspection. That means just by looking at it, and that's what I was talking about on the other page. How can you determine the number of solutions each equation has without solving it? You can combine like terms mentally. So here we have x plus 3 plus 7 equals 2x minus 10 minus x. And when you do that, on the left-hand side, you get x plus 10. And on the right-hand side, you're going to get x minus 10. And so the equivalent expressions, x plus 10 and x minus 10, are not true at all. Because when you subtract the x's out, you would get 10 equals negative 10. So this has no solutions. Just by looking at it, you can determine that. The second scenario, you can first apply the distributive property with um, the left-hand side and get 3x plus 12. And here you have 3x plus 12, and you'll notice that the coefficients are the exact same and the constants are the exact same. So you can see that these two things are true these two expressions are true, so there is an infinite number of solutions for this particular one. And down below on C, you'll notice we have different coefficients here. We have a 5 and a 2, and our constants are different. So when the coefficients and the constants are different. Well, the constants don't have to be different because you could have, um, if this was plus eight, you could have um, three X equals zero and then X would be equal to zero. But when your coefficients are different here, then you know that you're going to have one solution. So I'll put that back to the way it was. Okay, so the try it down below. Um, without solving, determine the number of solutions each equation has and explain. So over here on the left, this is the simplest it can be. It's 3x plus 1 and 5 tenths. And over here, this is the simplest it can be. It's 2 and 5 tenths x plus 4 and 7 tenths. You'll notice the coefficients are different here. So this should have one solution because the coefficients are different. Are you with somebody right now? Yeah.